my groovy toothy peeps. That's right. We hit our goal boo, 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 da, 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 of 5,000 subscribers. So for our 5,000 special, we are going to be doing an ADHD toy review. For those of you who are unaware, I have ADHD. And ADHD can uh, range from either mild, some people don't need medication or treatment for it necessarily. And then there are severe, the severe range of ADHD. I am more so from like minor to severe, closer to the severe scale. And so I am Medicaid, I take medication. <laughs> but something that also worked for me is toys. Specifically ones that you can fidget. If I have to look at it and stare at it, it distracts me from everything else that I'm supposed to be doing. So I got realistically really good ADHD toys that I thought uh, would be a good fit. For those of you who are like, oh yeah, no, I can't just stare at something and be like, oh, I forgot what I was doing something to handle, to hold, to touch, and to be able to feel like a texture while listening to something or just thinking. So like right now, I'm really calm. Otherwise, if I let go after a bit, you're gonna notice that I start talking faster and faster because that's just who I am. Now. I have a plethora. These boxes got fucked. <laughs> I have a plethora of ADHD toys that I chose off Amazon that y'all recommended to review. There's nothing else in there. All right, what is this? It's just what I wanted for Christmas, Mom. Oh, it's a good thing it's just paper. I didn't actually think it would tear that easily. So, that was such a satisfying sound. Damn. This is not a toy. <laughs> it's just me shredding paper. You see what I'm talking about? Oh my. Where do we begin? Okay, I want to start off with this one. It's called a football fidget cube, but it's not a cube, nor is it a football. It's a ball. Ooh. I just stuck my finger in it. What? Why? Why? Move the ball position. Wait, what? Game operation, move the ball position to restore the sphere position according to the color. Three, the game is complete. What the? So, this is one that you do have to look at. Okay, well, I mean, as long as it's just like a lecture that you're listening to and not having to take notes, then there you go. Oh! <gasps> Oh, this is just the bag to hold it, but the texture. It's so soft. Oh, I would stick my hand in this and just be like a cricket. Just, <laughs> just turn into a grasshopper in the middle of class. Alrighty. Wait, you're supposed to, there's a soft ball in here. You see this hole missing? See that? There's a ball, there's a soft ball. So you're supposed to move. You're so what the you're supposed to move. Oh, oh, I get it. I think I get it. So you can move. Oh, it's really difficult. You can move the balls around and mix them up. Switch places, I think. No, no. Are they, they're attached to the, I think they're attached to the soft ball inside. What, are they not? Are, they're not attached to this ball inside. What the, <gasps> okay. So this is like one of those where if you're one of those pimple poppers, not a pimple, not a pimple popper, but you just like, oh, oh, now that I got it started. Okay, okay, you stick your finger in there, shoot it out the other end. I've got wrong colors in 50 different directions by now. This is 
interesting. I don't hate it. I don't, I don't think I like it. Just because it's one of those where it's like, you have to stare at it, but also it's just kind of almost in a way annoying. This would definitely 1000% distract tons of people uh, who are probably in class. Otherwise, if this is just like something for at home, oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Oh my God, I got it in the right hole. <gasps> this is okay. I would rate this ooh, a five out of 10. Is that too generous? Yeah, no, yeah. I guess I'd rate it a five out of 10. Mm -hmm. I already put it up. I already fucked it up. Uh, oh, the orange is in the completely wrong position. Somehow I got the orange all the way on the other side of the fucking ball. I'd rate it like a five out of 10. We'll say five out of 10. This is okay. Five, five, five out of 10. All right, what do we got? Sold a set, what are these? Oh, <gasps> this one I'm really excited about. I saw this. So for those of you who don't know, I use these. This is what I have been using. It is a keychain. Keychain looking thing. It's got a two little doohickeys on it. They go together. I, here, I think I can lean forward enough. I like to roll it in my hands. You can just kind of do that. You can wear it around your finger, twirl it, um, make them go inside out of each other like this. This is like the thing that I use most often. It's what I fidget with when I'm streaming on twitch.tv slash Bianca, or uh, if I'm in a recording or a frustrating lobby that requires all of my attention. And then I'm like, oh, I'm focused now. And it's also an anxious thing because I do have anxiety. <laughs> Otherwise you'll see me doing that. <sighs> it's a bad habit. Don't, oh God. I just remembered I could have just stuck it in the sack the whole time. Oh my gosh, Pianc, what's in your sack? Pine cones. All right. There we go. All right, I made it split down the middle. So these are Yugi's, not to be confused with Yogi. What? How are you? So wait, okay, it comes with two? Damn, two different colors. All right, I like it, I like it. This is what I'm looking at. This is what we're working with. This is what we're working with. And supposedly, you're supposed to are these just different size ring things? Oh, ooh, ooh, I like it. Okay, so the package contains one Yogi, five silicone rings in different sizes. How to adjust silicone ring? Yeah, you just take it out and then position the silicone ring according to the plus mark. Press the silicone ring from its narrow side into position. Okay, yeah, this is already kind of like my finger size and you're supposed to be able to Hmm. I wish it spun, but this part, this part spins. The inside of it, I don't think you can hear it. It's kind of like, oh, it's like a fidget spinner, but way less disturbing. See, now if this were to make them kind of spin, if it were to be able to spin easily, I would love this thing because I would twirl it and then bring it around and then just do this. That's a fun time. I kind of like this, but it's just, it's silicone. It's silicone. Like, uh, I'm torn, because I really like it. I think it's a really nice concept. I like it better than the ball. It's still going. Okay, I see, so you're supposed to be able to like, do stuff like this. Yeah, shoot, you need to add a, needs to be able to spin. That, that would be pleasing. Otherwise, this is pretty difficult to do. And the fact that it's silicone, it gets caught easily. It's gonna get dirty pretty quick, but not that many people are allergic to it. I don't know, I kinda like it. Do they have any, do, do they have any recommendations? Oh, I see. Oh, I'm on, I'm wearing it on the wrong finger. Like this. So, they have it on, 
Oh, I need a bigger ring. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I see how it goes. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do this one. All right. And then the plus symbol. Dang. Okay, so the thicker the silicone, the more difficult this will be. Get. Get in the knob! That eh, wasn't too hard. All right. Cool, cool. So that's less. Yeah. Okay. All right. Eh, eh, eh. At least it's secure. Yeah. I mean... I do like that I could do this, yeah. It's basically a fidget spinner. And it's quiet. But I like being able to feel it a little bit when I do this. I'd say seven out of 10. Seven out of 10. I do like it. I wish it would be able to spin so that way you could spin the other thing, but also twirl it. That would be fantastic almost kind of like like a spinning ring yeah what if it was double oh that, that'd make it a 10 out of 10 in my books seven out of ten i like it i have always wanted one of these these things look fun i've always seen them on like tiktok getting 3d printed sorry i like to be able to oh to open boxes fast oh Okay. Oh, this is so fun. Oh. Oh, look at this little guy. Oh, he's in a, he's, I feel so cool. I love the 3D printed slug. Look at him go. Rave slug. <laughs> I love this so much. Look at this guy. He's a rainbow. Who doesn't like a rainbow slug to play with? Shake that out, me. And then also, just, this is so satisfying. This is probably my favorite 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, look at him go and just do, 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 do. This is satisfying. And it also sounds sats. Listen. I, this is my favorite. This is, this is by far. Oh. So, <laughs> this is by far my favorite. 10 out of 10. This is great. Uh, what, what brand is this? Sivos. Sivios, Sevios. I don't know how to say this. C E V I O C E. Slug on Amazon. I love them. 3D printed. Ow my elbow. Wiggle, 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 wobble. You're gonna stay. You're, you're. I'm keeping you like right here. You're great. You're 10 out of 10. I have no idea what this is. I don't know what I ordered for this one. Um. I, it's heavy, so it's probably metal, which is satisfying to play with. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yes. I heard great things about this. I love it. Oh, the weight and the texture. Oh yeah. This is the good shit right here. This is basically a fidget spinner but it's metal it's a fidget spinner but way cooler oh that's so smooth and well balanced this bad boy's going forever look at that shit. dude so you can either spin it this way you can either spin them this way ow or you can get the other two ends here and spin all four gears on it. Oh, this is 10 out of 10. This is a 10. This is a 10 out of 10. This is 10 out of 10. 
I, nobody can tell me otherwise. I should die, I should. Chip the table slightly. All right, you're gonna go right here. I love that one. I do love that one. These are my favorites so far. These are like nine out of 10, 10 out of 10. Love it. This is called monkey noodle. Stretches 10 inches to three feet. Oh no. If it's sticky, I'm gonna hate it. I already know this. Please don't be sticky. It's sticky, ever so slightly. I know you can wash these off. Are these hollow? It's not hollow, it just has a hole in it. Okay, these can stretch up to three feet. Now, yeah. That's fucking dangerous. Sorry. I like it. I also think that if you're a kid, you're gonna go, oh, no, 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 snap yourself in the neck and, hit things with it. I would, <laughs> be hurting people with this. I would just be, <gasps> hi neighbor. Also, um, did you hear the wind on that? Listen, listen. <laughs> that guy's so dangerous. It's so fucking dangerous. I'm gonna hurt myself with these. Um, do not tie them together. Oh, fuck. I really shouldn't tie them together. These are unruly and unriley. I, oh, the pink. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna rate these three out of 10 just because I don't like it. It's. She agrees with me. Three out of 10. I just don't like the texture. They're also slightly sticky, which means they're gonna get dirty. And having to clean these is annoying, but also like, next one. Decompression magic cube. Oh, I do like a decompression cube. Holy shit, you're huge. Hi, okay. What is this? It's got a, it's got a wobbler. Got a warbler. I. Oh, it's to be able to. It's to be able to keychain it to things. Okay, that makes sense. <gasps> it's got texture. It comes in different colors, by the way, so you can get different than what I have. It's texture. There's a texture thing you can rub. It's got. It's got buttons on it that are not too terribly loud, but they are clicky. That is pretty satisfying. It's got a, oh, it's got a little circle thing like you're turning a dial. I do like that, it has a nice feel and texture to it. Video game type booter and then some three little dials. Okay, not bad, not bad. What is? I don't know what you're supposed to do with this. There's three more. What are you supposed to do with them? What do, what do they do? Oh, they have faces on them. Okay, a weird thing to put your hand in. Oh, it's got a switch. Nice, I like being able to turn stuff on and off. It's got a silicone button. That's satisfying. I do like that. And it's got some volume looking sliders. Kind of reminds me of my Go XLR. I like it. I like it. Very nice sliders. Really nowhere weird nipple thing that you can suck. And then, yeah, it's all the way around. I like this. Mm. Mm. That on and off switch is really crisp. 
Like, that's, that's actually... It's actually really crisp. It's the best cube-like thing I've ever had. Uh, I'd say... I really, you know what? This... Eight out of 10. I like everything it has. I really... I didn't know that the spinny thing could also be pressed in. Oh, that's nice. I like this. <laughs> These guys. These are balls. That was actually really satisfying. These balls are textured, but you can push their little, little bumps in. It's basically kind of like, you know, the little flat discs you can get that have basically the bubbles. It's essentially that, but better, because this is in a sphere. I literally just did half the sphere. Oh, that's great. But the best thing about this is you can pop them out. You can bust them back out like that. That is 10 out of 10 satisfying in my book. Um, I think that that makes this rank high. I do like the bounce, the roll, the whole texture to it. Just <laughs> anything that has nipples, big fan of. I, <laughs> I'm gonna rate this one a seven. It's solid, it's pretty big. No, the satisfaction alone, seven and a half. You can disagree with me if you want. I have this that I ordered. <laughs> it's a spinning ring. This is what I was talking about earlier when I said, oh, it would be great if it were a spinning ring. Spinning rings are by far my favorite. I prefer them on this hand because you could just do this and spin it while doing whatever the frick you want. I like to do this when I'm streaming or recording this is great. This way I don't do weird shit with my face, such as like biting my lips and shit. I do that all the time. It's an anxious habit. Don't know why, but this, this is nice. Now, if it were textured, that would be fantastic. It's not textured. It is stainless steel, which is pretty nice. Pretty hard to be allergic to stainless steel. I can be allergic to some metals. And so having something that's stainless steel, pretty, pretty freaking nice, you know? I like this. I'm gonna rate this eight and a half, nine, yeah, eight and a half. Let's do eight, eight and a half. Yeah, I like it. I like it. A good solid ring helps greatly. Again, I can hate these things. Those suck. This guy is great. Ball, ten out of ten. Like that. This, eh, it's mediocre. It's okay. I've had better. Uh, eh, can't go wrong with the keychain. 10 out of 10. Love that. This thing, I would like it more if it spun like this so I could catch it and then spin that. Because I, of this action right here, I do like it. Let's go with. Mm, Shoot, and you can do it with either hand. And you know what? I'm gonna rank it a nine. Yeah, I can see myself using this, sitting here just being like, yeah, I'll, I'll rate that, I'll rate that a nine. Why not, why not? It, it deserves, well, I don't know if it deserves it, but you know, it, it's, it's good enough. This guy here, again, can't go wrong with this. All of its little cogwheels spin, and then you can, grab the other little dudes, you can spin the, whoops, you can spin the cogwheels and then also spin the entire other side of the body. I do think that's pretty cool. I think it actually, do they just automatically already spin? Yeah, huh, they 
you do. Interesting, I like it. 10 out of 10, great fidget spinner. Uh, you're probably gonna see me spinning the sucker quite a bit. It's just so fun. I mean, it's really hard to go wrong with something that's solid like this. And also this has a really quiet roll to it. Like, and it's weighted so nicely, so it's gonna go for freaking ever. This is probably the highest quality spinner I've ever touched and had. So, uh, <laughs> I almost just flung that across the room. So yeah, if you really like spinners, oh, yes. I I will leave a link to this to this one. This is nice. This is heavy. And it's solid metal. So just be aware. I think it's brass. Slug 10 out of 10. Slug I like this thing. It's great. Uh 10 out of 10. Easy. Just Google it on Amazon. Just Google it on Amazon. Look it up on Amazon. Yeah, you find it on the everywhere. It's great. You can also go to TikTok and find some TikTokers that will be able to make way better than this. And this is good quality too. Like I like this, but some of their custom ones are just so much nicer. So I hope you enjoyed my. ADHD toy review video. It was, all of these are decent in my opinion. Like there's obviously ones that I love and up to which, you know, I would recommend. The noodles, I hate, I hate these. And the, these dudes suck. Why? You're gonna snap somebody in the face with it and they're gonna cry and then get mad at you. I foresee that being a thing. But otherwise, uh, all of these are, I mean, I made a pretty decent selection. I don't understand what the nipple is on this one. I do like that it bounces back. It's kind of satisfying or you can suck on it. Don't recommend that. Unless if you're into that. Uh, but yeah, I, I really like this. I hope that y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And we did it. We got to 5,000 subscribers on the channel. I hope that y'all really, really enjoyed the 5K special. I am very grateful and very thankful to have all of you here in the community. Thank you all so much for getting us to 5,000 subs. This is distracting as fuck. Thank you all so much for getting us to 5,000 subs. This is absolutely insane. I, honestly, I didn't think I would get to 5,000 subs, which is pretty cool, I guess. I mean, yeah, it's, it's really fucking cool. Uh, let's shoot, let's see if we can hit 10 million. No, let's see if we can hit 10,000 subs. And we'll do another special. An even better special. I can boil an egg. I can go and sail the seven seas. I can uh, 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 swallow swords. Won't do that one, but we just come up with like cool things to do. I like it. I like it a lot. So thank you again, everybody for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you all so much for liking, subscribing and commenting. Let me know what your favorite part was. Um, watch the video all the way through. YouTube loves that. I do too. Helps out the algorithm by a lot. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next video. Yonk, yonk, yonk. Thank you all so much for being here. Have a good day. Uh